This video will walk you through a single processor sequencing problem without due dates, using both the first come first serve, or FCFS, and shortest processing time, or SPT, sequencing rules. Here's the basic information for our problem. Six jobs are to be scheduled on a single machine, each with processing times ranging from 80 minutes to 210 minutes as shown. There are two requirements for the problem. In requirement A, Supposing the jobs are processed using first come first serve in numerical order, we're asked to compute the make span, flow time for each job, and overall average flow time. Requirement B asks us to determine the order in which the jobs will be processed using the SPT rule, or shortest processing time rule, and then to compute the average flow time after each job is complete, and then compare that answer to the result in requirement A. So let's start with requirement A under the first come first served, or FCFS sequencing rule. It helps to set up a table to enter our values for each job. In this table, we'll include columns for the job sequence, or I, the start time, or SI, processing time, PI, and flow time, which is equal to SI plus PI, or start time plus processing time. Since the sequence of these jobs here are first come first serve, we can list them in order from one to six. Starting with job one, the start time is at zero minutes, and the job takes 100 minutes to process, Therefore, the flow time is 0 plus 100, which equals 100 minutes. Job 2 starts at 100 minutes, takes 130 minutes to process, resulting in flow time of 230 minutes. Job 3 then starts at 230 minutes and takes 210 minutes to process, resulting in flow time of 440 minutes. Job 4 starts at 440 minutes and takes 90 minutes to process, resulting in flow time of 530 minutes. Job 5 starts at 530 minutes takes 150 minutes to process, resulting in a flow time of 680 minutes. And finally, job 6 starts at 680 minutes, takes 80 minutes to process, and results in flow time of 760 minutes. The make span, which is the time needed to process a given set of jobs, is calculated using the formula M equals CL plus SF, where CL is the completion time of the last job in the group, and SF is the start time of the first job in the group. Here, CL is 760 minutes, and SF is 0. Therefore, the make span M is equal to 760 plus 0, which equals 760 minutes. The total flow time is the sum of all the flow times, which equals 2,740 minutes. And if we divide by 6 jobs, we can determine the average flow time to be 456.67 minutes. Now on to requirement B, using the SPT, or shortest, processing time sequencing rule. Here we can set up the same table, but now our first job is the one with the lowest processing time. From the list of all jobs, job 6 has the lowest processing time at 80 minutes. So it starts at 0 minutes, and the flow time is 0 plus 80 to get 80 minutes. The next shortest processing time is job 4 at 90 minutes. Job 4 therefore starts at 80 minutes, and the flow time is 170 minutes. The next shortest processing time is job 1 at 100 minutes, resulting in a flow time of 270 minutes. Next is job 2 at 130 minutes, which starts at 270 minutes and has flow time of 400 minutes. The next shortest job is job 5 with processing time of 150 minutes, resulting in a flow time of 550 minutes. And finally we have job 3, which is the longest with a processing time of 210 minutes, resulting in flow time of 760 minutes. You may note here that the make span would be the same as the first come first serve rule at 760 minutes. The total flow time under this sequencing rule is 2,230 minutes, resulting in an average flow time of 371.67 minutes. As a result, the shortest processing time sequence rule results in a reduced average flow time of 371.67 minutes, or a difference of 85 minutes from the first come, first serve rule.